Okay, so here are some of the supplies. I'm in the garage. We kind of have everything stored out here for the concrete table. You're going to need um, the ma laminine, the size that of the table that you want. Right here is a sheet. And what basically it is, is a really smooth um, surface that the concrete will come off of. Of course, you're going to need concrete. We are going to use a quick creek concrete table um, countertop mix. We have a bucket, you need some gloves, you need um, a mixer, have all that. Let's see, and then um, the rebarb. We are going to make a frame, we're going to make our table kind of oval. So we have this flexible um, trim here that we're going to put in the inside of our frame that is going to make the oval shape. Then for the actual table base, we're just going to kind of do like a um, farmhouse kind of table, just wooden. And we have the wooden um, legs there. And then this is going to be the um, cross-section supports. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to put some wheels on the bottom of those legs. That's why the legs are kind of short. I think that's about all the supplies that we have right now. Um, Oh, let me see. We did get some concrete sealer as well, which is also from Quick Creek. Um, we are going to kind of follow the Quick Creek guide, which you can find at the store. So we're going to kind of follow the guide on how to do this, but we're going to video it. So hopefully the concrete table will look awesome. Okay, so here's the melanine that we're going to use for our table. And then we have um, the already cut 4 by 2s So um, we'll frame this in and show you. But what you're going to need is you're going to need some um, nails, screws, however you want to attach um, these to the side of the board. We're going to use screws. Um, of course, you need measuring tape, screwdriver, pencil and all that good stuff. So we'll show you the next step once we have um, this framed in. Okay, so what I've done is here's kind of the box right now. Um, I haven't done the other side yet. So I pre-drilled the holes here um, so that I could um, screw it, you know, put in the screws easier. And I used these two inch drywall coarse nails. Um, you, can, you might have to use longer ones, shorter ones, it just all depends on how you're building your box. So um, again, this is kind of what the box looks like right now. I'll finish that up and then we're going to put um, our oval shape into the middle of the box, but I'll show you guys that next. So this is kind of what we have right now. So far, so good. Okay, so here so what I have so far. So I have the, the box. And then, if you can see in here, put this trim that is going to make it an oval shape. I'm cutting the other end, and then I'm going to have to um, silicone it together. So this is what I have so far, and I'll show you the next step. Thanks. All right, so here's my basic frame. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tape it with like painter's tape and then I'm going to put a bead of silicone around it. I think I'm going to put little blocks here on each side so I make sure that that does not move. Um, but that is going to be the shape of the cement table. I'm excited to get this done. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Alright, so now I'm going to tape around this so that I can put a bead of caulk so that um, the cement doesn't leak through and it has a nice edge. And we decided to uh, try to put some supports in the corner since it's going to be a pretty heavy in there with the cement countertop mix. So that's going to help support the oval shape. You can see now what the table shape is going to look like. It almost looks like the shape of a garden tub. Okay. Do whatever you have to do. Take a bath. In our garden tub. Okay. Actually, 
if you, it's kind of an optical illusion looking through the viewfinder. It looks like it's deep, like a tub. Yeah. So, um, I'm sure she already said too, this is not going to be done inside the house when we go to pour the stuff. Okay. So, how we're going to get it out the door and not ruin everything is questionable. I don't know. I guess once it's caulked and dries. Okay, so I have um, plastic down for um, where we're going to do our concrete work. Have my gloves, buckets, mixer. Um, I have a couple of weights, free weights that I put into a bag that I'm going to use um, with the frame. And we have that big bucket, which I think um, I should be able to do most of the concrete in there. Um, I'm going to go get a leveler. And then we're going to need to try to figure out what we can prop this up on so I can um, get the bubbles out of the bottom. So I'll have to figure that out. But this is what we have so far. So this is going to be a little workstation. And I'll show you my next step. Thanks. Okay, so here's the frame. Have the um, rebarb in it. Cut it to size. And then... Um, Put these little anchors on it and then what I'm going to do is fold this back. Fold this back like so. And then I'm going to pour the concrete, mix and pour the concrete and then flip it back and expand, ex extend it through there so it doesn't drop down. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the form with some rubbing alcohol so it's nice and clean. Um, so there's nothing for the concrete to stick to because that, um, that board needs to be nice and clean so there's no issue with the concrete coming out. So we're gonna, I'm going to do that next and then we'll show you the next step. Alright, so I mix the concrete. You're going to need a lot more water than they say. to a kind of like a brownie, I guess, or a, a cake consistency. I'm sure all these men know what that's like. Um, and then when you want to pour it into your form, pour half of it or one bag and then I put the rebarb and then I put the second bag and now I try to level it out as much as possible. Um, and now I'm using a hammer and I'm underneath it making a little bubble, trying to get as many bubbles out as possible. And we didn't have to use the support on that. Yeah, and we did not have to use the support because the first layer of concrete was pretty thick. So now you just want to hammer away as much as you can. I'm going to go get the vibrator for the, for the concrete too. Touch it to the side, Tasha. No, where the weight is. Yeah, there you go. On the plastic. Touch the plastic. No, oh, right here? Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll get them out. Do that on all four corners. Do that for a few minutes. I think that's good. Move that one. I think it's okay, don't you? Or not? No. Turn it on high. I don't know how I knew it had a high. Use the vibrate, the tool. massager tool. <laughs> massager tool. Massager tool. That and vibrates. I think we got most of the bubbles out. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. And I think it says in like four hours it'll cure, but I think I'm going to leave it for a couple of days. Yeah. So I really want to make sure it's nice and um, And it may get cold, up. cool in the garage. Yeah, it might get cool in the garage, so. So, I'll show you the finished product
All right, so there's a frame, and um, now what I've done is I've unscrewed the, um, the frame. It's going to start coming apart. I'm going to start taking it apart, um, and then we'll flip it over and um, see what it looks like. All right, well, that was actually really easy. Took off the sides and then this, um, the trim, because since it's really smooth, it just literally pops right off. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. How easy is that? Now to see what the top looks like. Okay, so that was where the table was. Dun, 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 dun. That's the table. And it's still drying. Yeah, it's still drying. So it actually came off of there really easy. Um, so hopefully it will dry nice. We can see the rebarb a little bit. Yeah, but you can't see it here. That's drier. Look. Yeah. So, so hopefully when it dries, you won't be able to see it. I think no. it's still a little bit wet. But anyways. I um, think it turned out pretty good for first time. Probably last time, but turned out really neat. Oval. There, yeah, and it's oval. So there are little holes, air air bubbles, but I think it actually kind of gives it character. So I'm I'm okay with it. We're gonna seal it too. Yeah, we're gonna seal it. So um, I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. We could use slurry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you don't like the air bubbles um, that are on there, you can mix a little bit of concrete and go over it and fill in the um, the holes. But anyways, I, for right now, I think it turned out great. Okay, uh, Tasha has put made a slurry mix, which is just mixing a little bit of powder um, your your uh, quick creep tech countertop mix in a bucket with some water and to fill, help fill in some of the holes. We actually like some of the holes to add some character so you know it's uh, cement and not like a, I don't know, some kind of artificial thing. So we're, we have some we're going to leave, it's okay. And besides we're going to seal it with their particular sealer and cure. Um, but we also did the sides so they were a little bit more even too, or more, you know, not so many holes. Um, so now Tasha's going to sand down the rest of the uh, cedar, and then she's going to build the base, which we'll document and show you how to do it. Um, we're not going to seal it probably until it's on top of the base. And glue down and then we'll be able to put it somewhere wheel it in and out from outside to let it dry and keep it from rain and then we can just uh, wheel it in the house because we are putting wheels on this it's a heavy table and we chose the cool modern sleek looking wheels you can do it with or without wheels if that's not your cup of tea and uh, you can then buy sliders and that's not a White right Castle or Crystal. The sliders are furniture movers. You can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's. Four, five, six bucks. You put these underneath the feet and you can move the table very easily. One person could do it. Um, we chose to actually just put it on wheels. They're locking wheels. Of course, we'll show you that later too. All right. basic form it's not bolted in that is the top it's sitting on so that's how it's going to be though when it's just turned over well the thing to do is we'll put it together then we glue it so uh, it'll be bolted with lag bolts of course and and of course we'll have the wheels on the bottom of those feet 
Okay, so here we have the beginning of the base. So here's what the base is going to look like. Um, lined up the 4x4 four four and the 2x4s. Just start with one corner. Yeah, and we're just going to do corner by corner. That and then you, you have to up. stagger um, the lag bolts, of course, so they don't run into each other um, through the 4x4s. Four and the finishing with the tunnel and everything will come last. So you can see how it's kind of staggered here. One's higher, one's lower. Okay, so uh, I have the base put together. And now I'm going to put the wheels on the bottom of the base. So I just marked those. We're going to put pi whoo, pilot holes and then, um, and then the wheels. So that's what it's going to look like. Can't wait until it's done. And I'll show you how to do the tongue oil and what we're going to do with the top. We're going to stain it or seal it once we're all done with everything. Okay. Um, after putting this together, I realized that the legs weren't balanced. So what we had to do was to put another support at the bottom. Not much of one, but enough to really support it, make it stable, make everything parallel, perpendicular to the ground. Um, basically, it just has a piece of wood across, bolted in, and then a 2x4 going down the middle, and of course bolted at the other end, just like that. You use lock washers and then lock washers because this is cedar, which is a little softer, and we wanted more surface area to be able to tighten the bolts down. If not, they would literally indent, and the lock washers will hopefully hold it in place and never have to worry about that. So uh, Tasha did a good job, and uh, what's uh, going to happen now is after some neighbors put the top on it, because it's heavy, uh, of course we'll put the glue, the type of glue that's going to be used is going to be this Loctite, very good, very strong, heavy duty, construction adhesive. Um, it's for wood masonry uh, materials. And then what we're going to do is then do the finishing with the tongue oil and all that. Um, I did notice that Tasha put a little bit on here to test. Um, a little hard to tell what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna bring out the beauty of this cedar. This one is uh, treated and this side right here is treated. If you look carefully, you can see the left of this video the inside part is not done with tongue oil yet and this part on facing the camera is so you can see how much nicer it looks we got the uh, high gloss it's really pretty okay so uh, I'm real pleased the way it's turned out again we did it on wheels these are locking wheels we wanted it on wheels because uh, get it out of the way to clean because um, that table is not going to be easily moved uh, because it's of course cement and there's two bags of cement in there which uh, two that's 160 pounds yeah I think it's two so it's at least 160 pounds plus the weight of the cedar okay so once it's up there before we do the finishing we'll let you know uh, the slurry was already done on this there are a few little what they call the bug holes but um, we wanted to leave a natural nature and plus once we seal it with the quick crete secure and sealer. It's gonna put a nice glossy coat on it. It's gonna look really pretty. Okay, so now the uh, tongue oil is going on. You can see it really, really makes it beautiful. See the difference where Tasha's going over it right there? God, look at that. Woo, what a difference. Beautiful. And the reason that wood looks a little different is we bought that at Lowe's versus Home Depot, and it's cedar, but be a cheap cedar tree. I don't know if it's cheap cedar because it was pre it was like pre-sanded, but we don't like the color as much, so it's gonna look a little different. And hopefully it won't stand out too bad, but I guess we could always change it out. Be a pain my rear. Anyway, it's looking good. 
Okay, so we have an oval top on the cedar base, almost finished. We just have to do a little cure and seal by quick creep. Here's a little test area. It's still wet, but it will have a glossy finish. You can see the coating looks already really good. The base looks nice. But I'll do another coat of tongue oil. Yeah, we're going to do another. Tasha's going to put another coat of tongue oil. Our base is exactly enough to fit this because it's oval. We do have more overhang than a lot of rectangle, tank, rectangle tables, so we want to make sure that we had enough surface area so it wouldn't have any cracks. It's stable, trust me, it's stable. So uh, it's coming along good. Next time you see it, I'll video Tasha doing the sealer on the top and um, then we'll show it in our kitchen. Okay. All right, so I just put a coat of this. I put a real thick coat around the edge and then I put a coat on the top. We're gonna let it dry for a few hours and then we're gonna do another coat. And then I also put another coat of the tongue oil on the wood this morning and we put it out in the sun for it to dry. So um, one more coat of this stuff and I think we'll be finished. It's looking really nice. Not too shabby. No, it looks really good. And that coat soaking in good to the pores. She used a slurry mix, but we still have a few little holes. That's good. It gives it the personality of concrete. But with this sealer, it'll make it all where it's sealed up and safe and no stains. And we got it in the sun, so it'll dry quick. It's not too hot though today too, which is perfect. It's probably yeah, it's 70s. Nice. And I've touched the cement before she did it and it's not, wasn't too hot of a temperature. And you can see the edges, they have a little character to them as well. But that's what we wanted. And this is because this had a little, instead of a sharp edge, this little edge here was from the caulk so it wouldn't leak out of the holder we did. I mean the mold. Hey, we got two coats. It's looking beautiful. I don't know if you can see that shine on it. Maybe in the sun, it looks great. Top looks a really. Tacky, but it'll dry. Yeah, I still got a little drying to do. We had it in the sun. Looks like we may need to put some more on the sides right here, Tasha. Mm -hmm. But um, it really looks good. There's a lot on there, so I feel a lot on there. Okay, well, it's, you know, it's going to take a day or so to dry. Yeah. And then we may want to put another one. But it looks great. All right. So we have a cement table that Tasha done her, did herself with the, me supervising. And um, I think it looks really good. You get all the scrap off yeah. the chairs. But... Yeah, it's okay, but it looks nice. I don't really want to put anything on the table now.